What's going on? My dudes and dudettes is showing you with SNS Materium. I've got the old uh, the old spotted python out today. She's uh, she's looking gorgeous as ever. Um I don't tend to get her out much for videos anymore, I'm not sure why. Um I, I feel like I was showing a bit much of her, but anyway, let's just get on with it. So today we're just gonna have a little chat about five ways to increase the lifespan of your snake. Um, five ways to extend the life of your snake. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is water purifiers. So water purifiers, what they actually are, is you add a couple of drops into the snake's water, and what that then does is removes all the impurities that, um, that you know, depending on where you live, your, your government or your council or whatever, the water people add to the water, stuff like fluorine um, and chlorine. The reason why they add these, fluorine is actually to help keep your teeth white, like that, yeah? Um, and chlorine is to help keep it clean. They only add it in small doses, um, but for animals like reptiles and particularly amphibians, it's quite bad for them really. So it's a good idea to add something like this product to the water um, to help increase the lifespan. What you could also do though, is if you have something like this, is what I use to store my water in. If you have something like this, what you can do is just leave the lid off and leave it for like a day um, and now that'll, that'll get rid of most of the impurities um, I do a combination of both so if some snakes are out of water I don't really want to leave it 24 hours um, I do have the water purifier on hand for those scenarios then the water purifier is not actually very expensive um, especially if you've only got a couple of animals but for the number of animals I've got um, if I only use the water purifier, I'd probably go through, say, a bottle every month, maybe, maybe less, you know. Um, so, you know, then it does get quite expensive. But if you've just got the one animal, um, it'll probably go out to date before you use it. Or it's pretty good stuff, to be honest. So that's, um, that's definitely something I recommend if you're looking to increase your lifespan of your snake. Which I'm assuming all of you are, because you wouldn't be here otherwise, so... Right, so the next thing to increase the lifespan of your snake, um, a tip that I would give to anyone trying to do this really, is to keep your snake at the low end of a healthy weight. Okay, so what I mean by this is you've got obviously, you know, two sides of the healthy weight. You've got healthy but a little bit thin and a healthy but a little bit fat, if that makes sense, okay? Um, I would keep it on the lower end. And the reason why you want to do that is there's been studies um, you know, mainly on mammals, um, the show if you feed a mammal 30% less food, it'll actually live 30% longer. Now, I know mammals aren't snakes, they're not reptiles, but we do know in practice, in the hobby, that if you power feed a snake and overfeed it and get it fat, it will not live as long as if it's a healthy weight. So if you keep it on the lower end of the healthy range, um, that's going to be a good thing to do really for your animal. Um, and the reason why I say the lower end, when I say the lower end, I don't mean underfeed it, okay, keep your skin and bones. I do mean still have it a healthy weight. Um, like this is something that I would sort of describe as sort of the thicker end of the healthy weight. And the reason why I've gone on the thicker end is because she is going to be a breeder for me. Um, she's going to be breeding this winter. And if she was thin, she wouldn't breed. Um, and if she did breed really it's going to put her life at risk if she's a little bit too small so that's not something a breeder wants to do but if you are a pet keeper and um, you know it's going to save you money on keeping the snake if you keep it at that sort of weight and extend the life of the snake which is obviously fantastic um, a good the best example I can think of as a low end of a healthy snake a healthy weight would be in this next clip is Jamie's um, Hog Island Boa Mill. He's a healthy weight, but he is the lower end and that will extend his life. So here's the clip for you for an example of what a low end of a healthy weight looks like. This is actually Jamie's uh, Hog Island Boa. He's an adult male. And you can see, you know, just the size on him. 
and uh, you know the sort of color these these snakes get this isn't an especially big snake um, he's probably about six foot in length though to be honest um, but he doesn't have the girth and stuff that a lot of larva boys have so tip number three to extend your, uh, your snake's life <laughs> what's wrong with me <laughs> right so tip number three is going to be to feed a varied diet um, obviously not all snakes will do this particularly if you've got something like a ball python um, a lot of them will only eat one thing and there is a gamble with ball pythons that if you feed them something else then they'll only feed on that something else they won't go back to what they used to feed on so you've got to know your animal with this regard guys um, but what I like to do for my king snakes and stuff like that um, is obviously when I get a dead, pre a dead snake hatch or whatever um, you know I feed that to the king snakes that's mainly what they eat in the wild they eat a lot of reptiles and snakes in the wild I feed chicks to the ones that'll take chicks, um, you know, and that goes for all the snakes. Um, obviously, you know, if it's something too small to take a chick, like a rosy bow or something like that, can't feed it then. Um, you know, you can feed mice, rats, uh, multi-means, gerbils, there's, there's a whole host of stuff you can feed to your snake. If you've got something like a booty rat snake as well, you can feed it things like, I've seen people feed it liver, and fish and stuff like that um, and really you know as long as you don't do it all the time I think it's gonna benefit the snake really um, obviously make sure your source of where you get the food from is uh, is good and if you're gonna feed something like fish make sure it doesn't have any uh, thylamines in it um, it's the stuff that stops the snake absorbing the vitamin B you don't want it to be having a load of that um, and obviously research your species to make sure whatever you're planning on feeding it does actually you know fit in with the wild diet but the wider of a diet you have um it's, it's going to be better for the animal really and um, especially you know as the years go by and stuff like that it'll help keep it leaner it'll help keep the brain more stimulated um, and and help focus it on hunting as well i find um so I yeah I, I find there's a whole host of benefits really to um, the feeding a very diet. Right, so the fourth tip I'm going to give you to extend your snake's life. This is going to be particularly if you have a female snake, um, but it's going to be don't breed your snake. And the reason for that is um, a lot of snakes they will go egg bound when you feed your snakes. As I said, you do have to beef them up a little bit more. Um, it does put a lot of stress on the on the animal um, Not so much the males the males, you know as long as it doesn't breed, breed itself to death. It should be fine Sorry, I stood on some polystyrene there <laughs> So as the males as long as it doesn't breed itself to death, it'll be fine But the females it does put a lot of stress and strain on the snake um, So if you want to get a maximum lifespan out your animal um, and you're not interested in breeding really then probably just avoid it altogether you know that'd be the best thing but if you are going to breed your snake um probably don't breed it every year and um, that would be the best tip i could give you unless you know you can see by the animal that's looking to breed um and stuff like that so you know you, you do have to take some of this with a pinch of salt and only you know your animal best but in general as a general rule of thumb if you don't want to shorten if you want to extend the lifespan of your snake i probably wouldn't breed as particularly if it's a female so the next uh the last tip tip number five is uh is a strange one actually um it's one that i got off gareth hartle if you you know he is in his, his youtube channel and it's copper if you add copper to the water now i can't vouch for this because it's something i've never actually done before but i have looked into it and it does seem to be a wide wide variety of health benefits to adding copper to your water um you obviously you guys know what copper looks like it's what you find in the wiring 
um, just make sure if you are gonna add copper that it's clean copper it doesn't have any impurities like plastic or cement you know don't go just outside and find some copper wires cut it open and chuck that in because it's gonna have impurities you know whether it's the glue or you know whatever else could be anything on there really so you know i'd buy the copper cables you can get from any good shop really builder shop builder's yard or whatever you want to call it um, buy the copper like that cut it up and then add it to the water and some of the benefits are it increases the amount of minerals and vitamins the snake can actually absorb and it can also you know help kill the bacteria in the water and stop the bacteria growing and developing in the water which obviously can cause all sorts of problems for your, for your animal so thank you for tuning into today's video guys i really do appreciate it um if you're new around here make sure you do subscribe and comment down below if you've got any other ways you can think to extend the life of your animal um, as I say, thank you for spending some time with me here today, um, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.